Welcome to my first review in English and I'm doing today a Tangiers packing. Um, ten, um, Eric from Tangiers just um, wrote into my uh, one of my videos a comment um, that I'm underpacking my bolts and um, I wanted to show you the differences and I just had a phone call with Eric and was great phone call so if you have questions to from to Tangiers just call Eric and um, talk with him he's a great guy and uh, so no just don't do it he's very busy so if you have questions ask me and I will see if I can answer your questions so basically I'm at first ignoring what Eric said and uh, show you how I usually pack my bowl and um, uh, then I will show you how Eric told me I should really do. Um, I'm using my Tangiers Blackthorn um, which I said it's not acclimated really and I haven't yet uh, smoked a good bowl from it so I will this time try it um, the way Eric told me. Um, I'm packing my bowl as usual, just taking a clump of tobacco, putting it into the bowl. And this tangiers really um, caught water from, from the air and so it's wet and kind of sticky usually um, ten just breaks apart this one doesn't so I'm just putting those clumps of tobacco into the bowl until it's full or what I call it's full Eric calls it underpacked And so this is the amount I usually take. Okay. Um, then I'll do a short break and wash my hands and then I'll show you the rest. So there is basically a misunderstanding in, um, in uh, the foil test. Um, that I want to show you. Some people think um, the foil test is part of the packing technique but it's not. It's just to decide if you have enough tobacco in your bowl or not. So what I did and most people do is just taking the foil and just pushing it down until it's the depression they expect it to be like this. Okay, um, but the thing is you want the um, most compression you can get and um, also a technique Eric showed is the twist and turn technique. So you take the ball with your left hand and you uh, use your right hand to push the tobacco down firmly and then you turn the ball and pressing the tobacco 
in the bowl as much as you can. Okay. And so what you can see is you get a get an impression of the funnel in the middle. And then you can see how much tobacco is in there. And this one doesn't look too bad. But I think there can be fit some more in it. So I take off the foil. And just put some more tobacco in it. With the twist and turn technique you can get a lot more compression than you would if you just push it push uh, the foil down with your hand Just moving it a bit around to distribute it into the bowl. Then you take your piece of foil again. Make it flat. And put it back onto your bowl. And you see it hardly gives in and I think that's a better amount. haven't tried it yet and then you go ahead and pack it like always. Flat out the coil. and create a nice outline and then you do as many holes as you can Not just many holes, but also larger holes.
and then some holes in the middle. Let's see, and that's it, and we see how it smokes. So what you want to do with this technique is using smaller pieces. So I'm using quarter pieces of these coconut charcoals. Two of them. Maybe you hear it sizzling. Trying a third piece. So we have a nice and e um, easy pull. It's a little harsh in the back of your throat. And it's still the dominating tobacco flavor. We have a dew point of about 12 degrees Celsius um, and uh, as the tobacco is pretty wet at the moment still.
I will let it sit it out and dry out for um, a couple of more times. Because the taste is still isn't there. Maybe Eric will um, write another comment for this. I still can't taste the blackthorn, it's just tobacco taste. And I will try it one more time um, when I let it acclimate again with this dew point, and then we'll see if it recovers or not. Until then, and see you in the next review.